Shut up and sit down. What's up, everybody? It's Eric. I've got a treat for you today on Eric Unboxes. Today, Eric Unboxes uh, the Pentagon Junior All Elite uh, Wrestling Unrivaled figure, the AEW Series 2. I found this at a Walmart pretty torn apart. So um, I figured what better way to uh, to review something than something that's already torn apart. Here we go. We'll, uh, we'll bust it open out of the package, but let's go ahead. Let's take a peek at, at uh, what we've got first, okay? There'll be some pictures at the very end um, so you can kind of see this is what it would normally look like. Turn it around. It's got a picture from Double or Nothing from uh, a year and a half ago in Vegas. Against the Bucks. You can see Series 2 is going to have Moxley, uh, Hangman Page, MJF, Ray Phoenix, Pentagon Jr., and Dustin Rhodes. So we've got Pentagon. And in the package, you can see just how amazingly detailed uh, this figure is. He's got the Cerro Miedo hand up. He's got the tongue out, the mask. Wait till you look at the eyes. I'll get a close up of the eyes. All the ink down his arm. Just so crazy. Super, super well detailed. Um, I have some of the, uh, the Series 1 figures, a few of them, and uh, I was a little underwhelmed, to be honest, and I don't know if it was just the quality of the plastic or the fact that I think they just used straight up plastic that didn't paint over it for the skin tone. So the, uh, the skin tone of the box and... Uh, Jericho and especially Cody it came out really, really weird. Let's get this out of the packaging. So it looked really pale, like Cody already does. But there you go. Sorry, but it was a little. Excessive. So, miedo. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, so I am happy to see that this is not the same sort of quality, I guess, in the, uh, the execution of the figure. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna get him standing up. There we go, I guess. Move the camera down a little bit so get a better shot of the Pentagon. There we go. I think this is a little bit better. Okay. And so he's got his mask on. You can you can see. There we go. Up a little bit more. Just tilt the camera down. There we go. Let's get him right up close. Let's see if we can focus on something. Oh, there we go. Look at the eyes. Look at the paint detail around the tongue. This plastic. Looks like it's a little bit better color. I know he's Mexican, but I wonder, I can't help but wonder if maybe they should use this sort of a color on more of the, uh, more of the wrestlers. So let's go ahead, let's, let's take a peek. He's got a pretty standard articulation for an action figure these days. And let's see. I've 
actually ordered the uh, Legends of Lucha Libre Penta El Cero M and Ray Phoenix from Boss Fight also. So it'll be interesting to see how those figures uh, match up with these. It looks like this one's been on backwards. There we go. The arm was backwards. Let's see who puts a who puts a tattoo on the back side of their elbow, but apparently he does because it looks like he's got one there. At least his action figure does. Um, but you can see all the all the detailed tattoos. It is super, super well detailed. I wonder if you can, you can tell that those are actually words. So there we go, he's got like the chest articulation, the upper lower torso, uh, because of his little, uh, his waist band, I guess a skirt, I guess you'd call this. Um, he doesn't have the best articulation at the waist, but that's okay. Uh, he's got the thigh split, which is really, really cool. Um, so you can really pose him. He's got double jointed knees, just like his elbows are double jointed. He's got a shin twist also. His ankles um, kind of pivot. They're not like rocker ankles, um, but but they do they do pivot. So if you you move their feet around a little bit, it does change things. Let's take a peek at the back. You can see the detail on the mask. It's black, so it's hard to to catch all of it, all the depth of it. I apologize. There are some minor like paint app issues on here, but overall really nice figure. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna change the hand out. There we go. That was pretty easy. Good wrist articulation. Um, both of them, even though the one I just took out does. But really, like I'm just so impressed with the uh, the face. You know, they caught a, a great scan with the tongue out. And followed it up with you know, nice touch-ups. But seriously, those eyes are so good. It's so well done. This is just a, a beautiful figure, especially for retail. I mean, this sort of has, this has the sort of like paint apps that I'd expect from a boss fight or from Super 7 or somebody that's doing more of like boutique action figures our ultimates, so to speak, as they call them for Super 7. But this thing is, uh, you know, 20 bucks at Walmart, if you could find them. And uh, it's got all of the detail that you would find from from a made-to-order toy, uh, like from the independent studio, something that Horseman would do, or uh, Boss Fight, or, or Super 7. This thing is just phenomenal, just a, a wonderful looking figure. And I can't wait to get more from series two and to check out and see, you know, how Mox looks and how uh, Hangman Page looks in, in their figures, especially since they don't have masks or paint like uh, some of the other guys do in this in this series. And, uh, and if they are better, I'd be really curious to see if they would end up redoing wave one or at least those characters soon, those, uh, those I guess, performers soon uh, so we can get a, a little bit better version of, uh, of the Bucks and of, uh, well, Jericho too. His isn't great. Um, really any of them from, from wave one. I think it would be great if we could, but that's, that's to be seen for me anyways. I haven't seen, uh, really any pictures of, of the others and I haven't seen any of them in person, but, uh, that's what I'm on the lookout for. So this was, uh, today's Eric on boxes. And it's uh, Pentagon Jr. from AEW, all of the wrestling's unrivaled collection. These are in scale with uh, like WWE elites. And, uh, you know, I, I hopefully we'll, we'll bring more to you and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.